10 one punch shamrock against hoist gracie whose legend continues to grow in the martial arts world the last 18 months he has become the most well-known martial artist on the planet fourth degree black belt a gracie jiu-jitsu and here comes ken shamrock into the octagon from Lockford, California, the Sacramento area. His third UFC, three and one, with one did not continue. The Pancrase Association champion in shoot fighting. Shamrock has a lot of good tools, obviously successful in shoot fighting. He has had some sex success here at the UFC. However, he's never been able to win here, either by injury or by the name Hoist Gracie. His chance will be based on a foothold or a punch. Now we've had a chance to get some words from Ken Wayne Shamrock. UFC veteran Ken Shamrock is the Japanese Pancrase Association shoot fighting champion with a record of 13 and 2. He's met his opponent before in the octagon and tonight he's out to settle the score. Hi, I'm Ken Shamrock. I'm from Lockford, California. I've heard all the hype. I've heard all the press. I've seen all the talk. Now it's time for the fight. I waited over a year and a half for this and I'm not going to lose. I'm here to win. And there's a look at Hoist Gracie, a closer look at the man who is one of the most dangerous in the world. Here comes the Gracie train. Father Alio, 82 years young. The youngster of the group is Orion. Actually, the youngster is Heron, who is the son of Orion, who is the brother of Hoist. Hoist Gracie, 51 and 1 as an amateur, 10 and all in the octagon with one no contest. The three time winner of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the World Light Heavyweight Jiu Jitsu Champion. He was on his back for 15 minutes in UFC 4 against Dan Severn. He won the fight, folks. Trains and teaches at the Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy. Once again, a closer look. That voice Gracie. Three-time UFC champion Hoist Gracie is the only man to have fought in all four Ultimate Fighting Championships. A fourth-degree black belt in the art of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he has never been defeated in the octagon. Hi, I'm Hoist Gracie from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Tonight, I'm only going to fight one man. That won't be any problem. I beat him before, and I'll beat him again. Right now, a look at the tail of the tape between Shamrock and Gracie. It's shoot fighting against Brazilian or Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Shamrock is 31, Gracie 28. Shamrock six foot, Gracie 6'1". Shamrock has 25 pounds on his opponent. Shamrock Alley from California. Right now, Gracie is from Torrance, California, born in Rio de Janeiro. Here's our announcer, Ron Jeremy. Ladies and gentlemen, Coming to you live from Independence Arena in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina. The Semaphore Entertainment Group in association with WOW Promotions presents the Ultimate Fighting Championship 5. Plus, for the first time, the match you've all been waiting for, the Super Fight. Japanese Pan Chris Association, a shoot fighter with a professional record of 13 and 2, 31 years old and standing 6 feet tall, 205 pounds. He's a two-time veteran of the Ultimate Fighting Championship from Lockford, California. Please welcome Ken Shamrock. Corner, 
the only man to have fought in all four Ultimate Fighting Championships. A fourth degree black belt in the art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's 28 years old and stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighs in at 180 pounds, with a record of 51 and one as an amateur, 11 and one as a pro. Please welcome, from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the three-time undisputed ultimate fighting champion, Royce Gracie. Time limit. Combined purse, fifty thousand dollars. Big John McCarthy, third man in the ring. Ken Wayne Shamrock, Chris Gracie. Our first ever super fight in the UFC. And here we go. Speed off for Shamrock. Gee for Gracie. Shamrock, striker, grappler. Gracie, renowned grappler. That just missed. Shamrock gets to the mounted position. Oh, Gracie lands a right to the face of Shamrock. There's the guard. Went right to the guard. We might have another long bout right here if Shamrock can't solve it. Gracie was in this position for 15 plus oh minutes God, against on, Dan Severin, on. and then he turned it around to win. And if you see Gracie looking over, he's looking over to his father, Elio, who's 82, and who always says is a remarkable coach. He whistles when Gracie doesn't know where he is in the ring, just to let him know that he's there if he needs it. Keep it working. It's confidence it boost. He said against Severn, he actually every now and then looked over to his father. And his father would put his thumb up and say, you're doing okay, and it would relax Gracie, allow him to stay composed. Jim Shamrock stays in the mounted position as we look at Alio just outside of the octagon, shouting instructions. Gracie on the back where he usually is. And I would hope that the fans would understand the art that's taking place right now because you really have to know what you're doing. Kenny Shamrock's dad, Bob, who has opened up his heart to over 800 boys over the years with the Shamrock Home for Boys, which opened in 1968. Took in young Ken. Now what a model citizen Shamrock has become. Gracie. Working the leg and chopping away at the back of Shamra. Hitting him in the kidney area right there. It's like a boxer going to the body blows. Over time, the accumulation will stay with you. Into the wee hours. Gracie holds the head down you know so Shamrock can't right himself to launch punches. Gracie also will see if Shamrock will try to back out, leaving his arms behind, and then he'll look for one of those arm locks and a submission hold. Shamrock, a living legend in Japan. They've got a cartoon in Japan about his life in a comic book, also called manga. Bob Shamrock looking on from his coach position. Again, the kidney blows by Gracie to the... right to the kidney again. And I often wonder why Shamrock won't use a knee to try to start Gracie in the coxswain. Low and uh, tough into the groin that could certainly stop Gracie there. Certainly would cause some damage. The other is to use just your hand over the mouth and nose of Gracie and try to initiate a choke where Gracie has to remove his hands to remove your hand. And when he does so, you can raise yourself upright. Gracie going for a choke now. Arm around the back of the head and the front hand trying to work itself under the chin to the throat area of Shamrock. If he can reach under there, he'll grab his gi on the other side and start the clamp. Headbutt by Shamrock. Gracie likes the gi because he's able to get that slippery hand out of his own way. 
He also says the gi absorbs the sweat of his opponent, making him less slippery. And that's a big advantage when looking for a submission hold. Borean, his brother, in the tie and jacket, part of the Gracie clan, offering their support to Hoist, who remains on his back where he is most comfortable in the art of jujitsu. Shamrock's right, there's Shamrock's right hand. It finally came out. It was trapped between the bodies for so long. Shamrock who won street fights, tough man contest. He wrestled. Now the Japanese pen phrase shoot fighting champion. He's got to be in great shape to keep the pressure on Gracie because Hoist Jim is not going to fatigue. That's why he works every day so long in that position. Not every day, Jim, half his life, he told us. He's been doing this 28 years, and he said at least 50% of the time he practices this guard position. We are five minutes into this bout. It has a 30-minute time limit. If they finish 30, it will be a draw. Shamrock in the mounted position. Three-time UFC Hoist Gracie working from working. his back, continuing to work with those legs. He says that techniques are based on leverage, not power. And his father taught him, if you give me leverage, I can lift the world. And it's such an important thing. That's all of what wrestling is based on. You hear some boos because people want to see punches in a street fight. Hitting the ground like this is going to be a common thing, and you have to learn to fight there. And these two are both very good at it. I'd have to give the advantage to Gracie, though. He spent more time here than anyone in the world, perhaps except his dad. His dad fought for some 40 years. The Gracie clan spans seven decades of combat. The torch has been passed to Hoist. His dad once fought in a match for three hours and 45 minutes. Longest fight in history. He lost to Waldemar Santana, his student. His arm was broken, and he hung in there. So I'm sure he has passed along a lot of that to Hoy, who begins to hammer a little bit to Shamrock's back, the back of his head as well. To his credit, Shamrock isn't panicking either. Not at all. This is what I was worried about. These two are so good here. They both kind of wait and see if the other one will get a little too aggressive and give the other an opening, in which they can exploit and try to get a few good strikes in or a submission lock. Boyce Gracie landing some lefts, and now Shamrock headbutts Gracie. And one got through, Gracie's guard pretty good. Keep it going. If it hits on the side of the face, it's not as effective. If he catches him anywhere in the front, particularly the nose, that is where he can do his damage. And now Shamrock trying to get up. But right back to the guard. It is so difficult to get a clean, powerful shot at Hoyce Gracie. You might get a clean shot, but with no power. Gracie actually wraps his arm around the head of Shamrock and grabs his gi. And that creates a loop in which Shamrock cannot lift his head and right his body. You see Gracie's right hand grabbing the inside of his gi on the left arm. There's the knee. I wondered when Shamrock would try to do that. Shamrock again landing. Jim, you're looking at, you're looking at two superbly conditioned athletes. Absolutely. Eight minutes in to the super fight at UFC 5 at Independence Arena in Charlotte. Ken Shamrock riding Hoist Gracie. The one thing you never want to do when you're in the mount position here, like well, he's really not mounted in the top position, would be to bring one arm back and try to hook a Gracie leg and pull it forward because you're leaving your other arm behind, and that's exactly what Gracie wants you to do. He'll lock up that arm bar real quick and submit you. But Shamrock said he wouldn't surrender, so that poses an interesting question. Well, he was known as one punch Shamrock in his earlier days. He's far past that now. He's got a 25 pound weight advantage. He's using it now. I really feel Hoist is very content to stay right very where calm. he is. 
Jim, both fighters are showing tremendous composure here. Well, yes, I think that uh, Ken is doing a tremendous job because he is not getting out of his game plan. He knows it's very dangerous. Shamrock said, I believe my style is stronger than his. On Gracie, he said Gracie's techniques are sneaky. He slides into them like a snake. And you start to see some real welts, particularly on the left side, the kidney area of Shamrock's back. Shamrock also said, I'm not going to rush it. Keep it working. Doing the good, super doing fight good. continues working, the way it began with Ken Shamrock in the mounted position. Boyce Gracie on the mat of the octagon, which is a 750 feet square space. Gracie, a quick pop to the head of Shamrock, and then an elbow. Incredible, the balance and articulate movement that Gracie possesses in every limb. He can attack you with any part of his body. 10 minutes in, Gracie would like to win with a choke, but he has won in the UFC with four arm locks, three naked chokes, two strikes, and one triangle choke. The triangle being with his legs, that's the one he defeated Severn with. Gracie has never lost in the octagon. Shamrock has lost once. That was to Gracie in UFC 1. Another point is, too, when Shamrock throws his head cuts and Gracie's head is off the ground, they're not going to be effective because as he strikes him, his head can move. If Gracie's head is on the canvas, then it's much more powerful because Gracie has to absorb the full energy of the blow. Two submissions fighters going head to head, literally body to body. And if Shamrock lifts that head at all or doesn't keep his chin tucked, Gracie's left hand is going to slide under the neck and try to grab the gear of his right arm and he'll be into a choke position. See, he's just slapping him. All he's trying to do is get him to try something. Shamrock is going to sit there and say, okay, Gracie, if you're going to play the waiting game, so will I. Headbutt by Shamrock. Gracie's style has never been about blood. It's been about technique. We talked about that yesterday. He's proud of that. Very proud of it. He almost never draws blood and he almost never wants to finish with punching. He has won a few that way. However, without a doubt, his best shots are going to be his submission holds and his chokes. Jim, what do you think? 11 minutes in. Well, I think you're seeing two masters. Going good. Keep working. 12 minutes now. And it could go a long time. It's kind of like a pounding running game in football, isn't it? Absolutely. And Shamrock said before that he did not want to necessarily be on top because Gracie is better when he's underneath. But he was aggressive right out of the gate, and he took the mounted position, and he's been there ever since. Shamrock, it's superb condition. And now you see Gracie reaching across with his other hand, grabbing the gi. Maybe now he's trying to bait Shamrock into coming up again, but that sleeve is all the way up to the elbow, and that'll pose a problem. You see him actually pulling the sleeve down to the wrist. That way he can grab the gi, and he's in a position to reach under the neck again. Super fight working. continues. You think he wants to get near the fence? Shamrock's actually doing what we do in wrestling. You always turn your head of the opponent to the center of the mat so he can't crawl out. What about the fence, Jeff? Would it benefit anybody in this particular position? It's hard to tell. I would tend to think it would uh, help Gracie because Shamrock can not, then not drive forward and lean in. Otherwise, Gracie's going to start to crawl the fence. We've seen Gracie put people away at the fence because people start to grab on and leave their arms behind. Gracie looking over to his dad, Elio. Shamrock gets in a couple blows. Another one to the back of Gracie's head. Headbutt by Shamrock, who's getting a little busier. Really, the pace here isn't really frantic at all. It's very measured. But they're still moving. If referee John McCarthy ever feels at a given time that neither fighter is putting forth effort, 
they will both go to their feet, but that is not the case here. Gracie with the leg, chopping to the back of Shamrock. And over time, those are gonna really add up. Shamrock trying to sit back, trying to raise his head. And because Gracie is hanging on to his own gi, that's a loop that he's not gonna be able to break. Fourteen minutes and thirty seconds in to this super fight. Gracie Severin was fifteen minutes forty nine seconds. That's been the longest fight ever in the UFC, and this one is approaching that. He's, the two of them are right in front of us now. Gracie is staring right up at the ceiling. Everything is by feel. He doesn't even need to look at his opponent to know exactly where his legs and hands are. Gracie making a little moves. Shamrock with the right sends him back down. Shamrock is now a little bit higher in the backside there, trying to get more leverage towards Gracie's head. Once again, if he tries to back out here, he's better do it with both arms, not just one. What kind of strength does it take, Jim, for Ken Shamrock to be there for as long as he's been there? Well, it takes a lot. Now Gracie starting to work frantically from the ground. But Shamrock locks him back up. Now Gracie again, trying to make a move. They draw closer to the fence. It is the longest fight in UFC history right now. Time limit is 30 minutes. Well, we're halfway there. They've got to be a little more fatigue, and certainly now the pace is picking up. Still to come, David Benito, Dan the V. Severin for the main draw, the finals of UFC 5. And those fighters are getting a big rest period here. And I just wonder, in the back of Shamrock's mind, if a draw with Gracie, in effect, is a victory. What do you think, Jim? I think probably so because he isn't making any dangerous moves. He's taking no chances. Exactly. Bruce Beck, oh, Jeff Blatnick, Jim working. Brown. Independence Arena, Charlotte, North Carolina. Super fight, the longest fight in UFC history. Ken Shamrock, mounted position. Hoyts Greasy on his back. They have been in this position since about the 32nd or 42nd mark. I don't know if the fans appreciate the skill, the technique, the power, and the endurance of these two guys. But the early boos have stopped. I think the respect has been earned. 17 plus minutes in, 30 minute time limit. Jeff, does Gracie take a shot or does he not? Does he not? It's hard to tell. We've never seen the chin of Royce Gracie. Chemo seemed to get a couple whacks at him in UFC 3, I believe. And it was a very, it, it, Gracie was unable to continue. That's his only blemish on an undefeated record is a do not, did not continue because of injuries sustained in his victory over Kima. If you guys both think that it would be a plus, almost a victory for Shamrock to get the draw, what do you think Gracie would think as Alio, his dad, looks on? I, I feel it's probably just going to put a little bit Let's of a go, dent go in that bigger than life uh, reputation that Gracie has, just a little bit of a dent in that cornerstone. He's well, still not beaten, but it gives Shamrock a lot of legitimacy. We put the restriction on time. In these kind of fights, basically there should be no time because the Gracies don't deal with time, they deal with winning or losing. That's correct, and that's what happens in a street fight. That's why Alio has got almost four hours once in a fight. All the way to 18 minutes and 30 seconds now, and both of them still working at a modest pace here. And Gracie grabbing onto his own gi again with his right hand around the head of Shamrock. If he can slide that left arm under, he'll try to latch onto the right arm of his gi. 
apply a chokehold, but Shamrock will have none of it. He keeps that chin tucked very, very well. Shamrock recently in a movie, Virtuosity, with Denzel Washington, but this is no acting here. This is the real thing. You really don't see Shamrock trying to look at Gracie. And again, he's going by feel here as well. He has not looked up at all. Only when he tried that one effort, that one burst where he backed out and kind of got upright, but he was unable to really have any uh, powerful punches to uh, good, you know, good. hit Gracie in the head Keep with. Working. Bob Shamrock good, good. watching from the coach's pad. Both Bob Shamrock and Elio Gracie hold towels which I don't think will ever be thrown in here. And that is an understatement. Although they do have tremendous respect for their sons and if it was necessary they would do it. But these two guys very much composed. Shamrock keeps that chin tucked in. That's absolutely necessary right there. Absolutely necessary. If he lifts that head up it becomes vulnerable particularly to the choke. And if you just put your arms in front of you and touch your left hand to the, your right elbow and your right hand to your left bicep, that's what Gracie, in effect, is trying to use as a choke with Shamrock's neck in between the two forearms. By grabbing the gi, you automatically put it, in effect, put that into a locked position. And when you grab that gi, it's really tough to break those locks. Two thirds of the way through our fight, 30 minute time limit. We're getting closer to it, guys. And it could be really, I think it's a strong possibility this is going to end in a draw now. It seems as though Shamrock is Let's not going to put Let's himself at risk getting too aggressive. Gracie, by taking this position, really forces Shamrock to do all the aggressive action. And anytime you get too aggressive, you leave openings. Those openings can be exploited. There's Shamrock, a quick burst, but immediately tucking that chin again, not leaving his head exposed. Everyone around the ring is on their feet. Every single person standing within, oh, 10, 15 feet of the ring. They have stood the entire fight. Meanwhile, the bout has been contested on a mat. So while the fans stand, the opponents grapple. Ken Shamrock. The Japanese Pancray shoot fighting champion from Lockford, California, Hoist Gracie. The three time winner of the Ultimate, the World Light Heavyweight Jiu Jitsu champion from Torrance, California, by way of Rio de Janeiro. And the fight reaches the 21 40 mark. Still to come, UFC 5's main draw final. Dave Benito, Dan the Beast, Severin. Mounted position for Shamrock. Greasy on his back. And just as an aside about that UFC final, both fighters now are getting a lot of rest. Shouldn't affect them in the finals as far as fatigue from their previous bouts. Could we see a last, last 90 second burst by one of the fighters that could lead to an error, Jim? Well, I don't know. I think it'll be up to Shamrock. And it's going to be up to Shamrock to see how aggressive he's going to be because Gracie can't be aggressive in the guard. The guard is a wait and attack mode. And what Shamrock pointed out before the fight and we talked to him is that he could not make a mistake. That Gracie waits for you to make a mistake. Exactly. He's following his script to a T. I do believe when this is over though it'll be Shamrock's body that probably took most of the punishment particularly the kidney area because of those heels and feet to that lower back. But I don't think any of them have been all that powerful to the point where they really are going to cause any serious injury. Shamrock enhances his position momentarily, although his weight slightly oh, forward good, as he goes head-to-head go. head with Gracie. Nothing there. Hoist turns his head to the side he's throwing the punches. He could hurt his hand hitting the backside of Gracie's head. Once he collapses down to one knee, it's a wait and see battle again. When Shamrock goes to his toes, he's looking for something. The early update on Oleg, the Russian bear Taktarov, stitches to his forehead. He is okay. Good news. You've been working. Taktarov injured his fight against Dan the Beast Sever. Anytime you see blood, it makes the injury seem much more uh, severe. Yes, yeah, severe than than it truly is. 
Coming up on 24 20, minutes 25. in the super fight. Let's get it, let's get it, come on. And it's still Shamrock in the mounted position. Watch your you can see him really struggling to get that left hand between the chin of Shamrock and his chest, Watch looking for a choke, but he's not there yet. Crowd getting behind Gracie. They sense that's what he's looking for, but he can't grab the right arm key. Again, Gracie grabs the left arm, grabbing the gi. It's going to go the full way. And in effect, I really do believe this draw will enhance Shamrock's reputation and style, and it'll put that little dent in the armor of Gracie's really unblemished reputation. Well, I would not care about a little dent in my armor as long as I've never been beaten. He'll be there to fight again. You can bet that, yes. 25 minutes in, five minutes to go in the super fight. Gracie chopping to the back of the head. There are little slaps to the back of Shamrock's head. All that's just trying to do is trying to get him to lift his head up a little bit. Shamrock will do it. I don't know if the fighters know how much time remains. I would think they would be told by the referee, and we have been informed they do know how much time remains. Shamrock seems to be picking up the pace a little bit more here, trying to create an opening for himself. And you see that left hand of Gracie again, trying to work its way underneath. The instant he does that, Shamrock has to clam up. He doesn't want to make that big mistake to give Gracie a chance. A tremendous battle of metal, mental and physical. 26 minutes in, four minutes left in the super fight. Will anyone take a shot? Will anyone commit an error? Bob Shamrock, the dad of Ken. Adopted Ken, who was a, a troubled 13-year-old in 1977. Aliel Gracie, the elder state for the Gracie clan. The crowd starts to shout Gracie. Chant Gracie, Gracie. And now Shamrock's chance. Echo through the crowd here at the Independence Arena in Charlotte. Three minutes remain. Three to go in the super fight. And Bob Chabrock is shouting, get up and punch him. Get up and do something. Well, he understands that the time limit is running out, and I'm afraid we're headed for a draw in our first super fight. Shamrock will probably wait to the last minute before he really tries something overly aggressive. Again, the reason why he doesn't want to make that big mistake to give Gracie a chance. Royce Gracie, the only competitor to compete in all five UFCs. He's never been beaten in the octagon. Again, slapping the, to the back of Shamrock's head. Trying to get some movement. Gracie doesn't need much time if he makes a move for a choke. It happens quick, but he's got two minutes to do it. It's not gonna happen, Bruce. Neither one's really taking any major risk here. Gracie will continue to grab that gi to make the loop around Shamrock's head, preventing him from getting upright and raining blows down. I think there may be some boos at the beginning, but I think those boos will turn to cheers here at the arena Let's if this one ends in a draw. A minute 30 remaining. A minute 30 to a draw. Ken Wayne Shamrock, Boyce Gracie, and now Shamrock becomes the battle cry of the crowd. And you can see Shamrock's left hand protecting his throat from Gracie. 
That is the reason why you see that left elbow folded between the bodies. He's keeping the hands of Gracie clear of his throat. Two defensive strategies here. 60 seconds left. Shamrock mounted on, position. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Gracie on his on. back. They both know there's a minute to go. They've been told by Big John McCarthy, the referee. And it really takes an appreciation of ground fighting to understand the Gracie guard and how difficult it is to attack from there. If the time limit is up, the backup referee, Lonnie Foster, will come into the well, octagon and no end it. Come on, guys. Coming up on 20 seconds to go. Let's go let's will it go. end the way it began? Keep working. With Shamrock in the mountain position and Gracie on his back. And it looks that way with 10 seconds to go. No one going anywhere. No one has gone near the octagon yet. It's that's 30 minutes. 30 minutes, that's an unofficial time. No one has stopped the bout yet. The clock continues to run. We're at 30-10. This is interesting. There is a time limit, but nothing has happened. Now we've been told there's a five minute overtime. I believe they adapted the rules here to try to give the fighters a chance to finish it off. Yep, another one of those rules that was well, adapted I think it's a good ringside. Rule. It's a good rule for the fans. I think the fans would like to see a resolution to the fact. I like it. Okay. Certainly nobody can claim this is awfully too violent. <laughs> In this kind of a position, there's not a whole lot happening. It's so intricate, so subtle. The holds that Gracie puts on you and Shamrock isn't being too aggressive. He's trying to land a few blows, but unless he really well, well, gets to an upright position, there's nothing he can do to finish stop, Gracie stop, off here. Stop, stop, that's going to be stop. it. You're that's going to be it. The fight's over. Keep your corner. Keep your corner. That, that is it. That's it. That is all. That's it. There is no way. Time. Ah, they're going to start them on their feet again. Start on their feet to the 30 no, minutes became 31.06. Five minute overtime, and both quarters agree. Bob Shamrock says yes. If the Gracie says yes, they will start from their feet. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? And Royce likes that. He's got a chance to work from the top. Five minute OT underway. Come on, baby, let's go. A restart in the super fight. Now this changes everything here. This changes everything here. They're back on their feet. Anything can happen here. Both these guys like to be on the ground. And Shepard, guess what? The back is good. Gracie with a right hand. And Gracie looks like he's got a mouse underneath his right eye. He got popped by a right from Shamrock. He's going to work on that mouse now using those small headbutts. There's the headbutt by Shamrock. He nailed Gracie. Let's work, let's work. Where they both were standing. And that eye will close quickly from that position. That is a vulnerable spot by the eye. It's dangerous if the blood goes into the eye area. Well, it's gonna affect his vision, but as you saw, Gracie doesn't really look at his opponent in the guard. He may look to see a lock or where his gi is so he can grab it. But when they put them on their feet, that changed everything. And I think that was an advantage for Shamrock, putting them back on their feet, because I believe he's probably the better puncher. So Gracie now has to defend his eye instead of worry about making an offensive move. I, I really don't think Gracie's too worried about the eye. Again, on, once guys, you're in the go, guard, it's all by feel. It might be painful, I agree with you there, Bruce. But that left hand now, you can see he's using it defensively rather than reaching around and trying to grab his own geek. That's correct, because Shamrock knows there's a mouse there. No Gracie is cut and bleeding. He's going to take those little headbutts. They're not real powerful, but he's going to strike that damaged area, and obviously that's got to be a little bit uncomfortable for Gracie. And certainly it's going to make Gracie look the worst of wear in this entire contest. 
Two minutes into the five-minute overtime. Shamrock pummeling Gracie with a right hand to the head. Keep working. Another shot to Gracie's head by Shamrock, who has gotten more aggressive. Well, he senses the kill here now. He realizes Gracie's a little bit hurt. Keep working. Keep and who working. knows how hard that punch was. Gracie, we've never seen him hurt before. We don't know what he's really going to look like. So that big cut underneath the right eye of Gracie, it swells up quickly. Shamrock not getting to that cut where his head is now. It's more at the Adams apple of Gracie. Five minute overtime in this super fight. Shamrock back where he was in regulation. In the mounted position. Jim, is Gracie thinking drawn now with the cut the way it is? Well, it becomes a stalemate because Shamrock knows what not to do, and Gracie knows what he can't do. Come on, Jim, let's work! Come so on, if Gracie can get that arm under, that's about all it seems that he can try to do at this time. Shamrock knows that. In a very subtle way, Jim is right, but in a very subtle way, it seemed as though Shamrock was defensive through the whole 30-minute period. But I believe what you're saying here, Bruce, is correct. I believe now Gracie is the one who is all defense here. He is not going to try, except for that chokehold, to do anything too offensive because he is hurt, and I think he knows it. Head to head. Oh, great. Oh, Gracie went back to the guard. It looked as though he might try an elevator that we saw earlier in the earlier fight. A minute left in overtime. Go Shamrock Come on, guys. and Gracie. Shamrock back on top. Huge swelling underneath the right eye of Gracie. Oh, almost got his finger near Gracie's eye. That is unallowed. That is disallowed in this competition. High gouging not allowed. Intentional eye gouging. 30 seconds left, guys. Almost 30 seconds now. Put it out. Come on, 30 seconds. Shamrock working hard. But Shamrock is definitely the aggressor now. But, no doubt about it. But Gracie, a master of defense as well as offense. A matter of fact, his offense usually keys off his defense. 30 seconds, come on, The guys. whole guard is a defensive set. It starts with the premise of defense, waiting for the man on top to become too aggressive, Good leaving morning, that on. opening for exploitation. Five Good seconds to go. Up. Gracie's going to look a lot worse. But this one will end in a draw. All right, pull it apart, pull it apart. Pull and it that apart. is the yeah. end of the super fight. Wow. Oh, I, I can't believe there's booze. I can't believe it. Some of these people, there's a lot of people clapping. There's a lot of people clapping. I said the booze would change to claps. Greasy oh, is a mess. Shamrock looks marvelous. victory, but it's certainly going to appear because Shamrock got put on his feet. That gave him the chance to strike in that five-minute overtime, and that was really the only big blow of this entire fight. Well, they have to start it that way. And after all, it's the ultimate fighting championship, so it's on your feet, it's striking, it's all of it. Now, this is OT. Watch the right hand by Shamrock. The first big blow. 36 minutes. And six seconds was the time of this bout. Yeah, it ends in a draw. Gracie being lifted by his brothers as you take a look at that action from overtime. Jim Shamrock made a run of it in overtime. There's the end of the bout. 
Boyce Gracie and Ken Shamrock fight to a draw. Although both raise their hands. You know, people in are a very sign of victory. You know, they never understand the subtleties, the heart of a warrior, all of the things that it takes to really be a champion. Both these guys are champions. But uh, Shamrock should have uh, put him in submission. And that would have cleared it up. I, I think he tried, Jim. I think he tried very, very hard. The crowd is, is, is treating Shamrock right now with a lot of adulation as though he's the winner. Because of the position he had during the fight. Yes. Of course, the bloody uh, state of uh, Horace's face. But he could have taken some chances.